We talk a little about Sam Darnold from last night. We're going to talk good. about it all. Moose and I at the comedy show for Boomer and, e- uh, excuse me, for Craig and Evan last night. Just super, super fun. Lots to do today. We can talk about what happened before the comedy show. And before the comedy show with a little Moose and Maggie dinner Moose. out on the town. Da- out on the street. Dining al fresco. Out on the street. In 20, a monsoon. Right, 23rd and 7th. <laughs> and Maggie, we almost witnessed two guys basically brawling it out yeah. right in the back. You almost right. lost me. <laughs> Maggie almost I got almost, taken out. I almost got taken out. My Maggie almost got taken out. I Those guys got really, really close to me as they were about to punch each other in the face. It was close for your girl, Mags. I was, uh, I was almost like... Uh, just given to the streets is what would have happened. I would have just gotten dragged away in some kind of fight. No, 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 no. That we no, we would have no, I would have had your back. There's no doubt. But like you were it was like looks up from a dumpling. Just, He's so just we like, went, what happened? Yeah, Where'd so, she go? No, so we went to this place, uh, you know, excellent dumpling, yeah. right? Before the comedy show last night. And we're the woman was like, You want to sit inside or outside? This was before it started pouring rain. We're like, oh, you know what? Let's let's sit, sit outside. outside. Is it right? a tent? Right. There's a tent and this and that, right? Little did we know, basically sitting outside. We we're gonna get accosted by like two or three people, yeah. then, and then all of a sudden, like there was a literally two guys behind us that have some sort of issue together yeah. because the UPS guy says it happens every single day <laughs> right. that these two guys literally start fighting each other on the street. Happen probably, I'd say, two feet behind the guardrail where our where our table seats is, were, yeah. where our tables were, where our table was, and Maggie almost and Maggie's talking to me, and I'm like. I'm just staring behind what's going on. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, there's something going on behind you. Yeah, I was like, do I two start guys filming? Are, two what guys are literally going to start fighting. The guy comes out from the from the, from the the Chinese restaurant, from the dumpling place. He's standing yeah, guard. He behind me. I'm like, sorry. He's like a 75-year-old man. I know. Like, it's, I good think, job, good effort. I don't, I don't uh, think you're going to stop these no. two guys. I really don't. They're both massively bigger than you. Like, I don't. It did I make me feel safe. I don't think you're going to prevent it. I, at that stage, I was like, you know what? Can we get the dumplings to go? <laughs> Like, can we go inside? Like, this isn't the most enjoyable experience. Then it started pouring. pouring and then those guys left. And then those guys left. It chased, the, the rain chased them away. We still stayed outside, though, and the waitresses were just like, why? Like, we hate you. They were coming out with umbrellas. All that. It was a very, very fun night, though, at the comedy show. You oh, know, Craig night. and Evan are going to have all the details of what went down, but super duper fun and, you know, all for a great cause and a great charity. So that was a, a huge success. Yeah, and, thanks, Steve at Gotham. Uh, oh, tremendous. I mean, everyone fun. there was amazing. All the fans that came out ah, were, nice you know, were were so like appreciative of everything. I mean, you know, we gotta thank Craig and Evan, obviously, and everyone over at Gotham for, you know, the invite. We had a great time. Lou Gow was there, C Mac was there, uh, you know, Lapresti. Everyone got a big rounding standing ovation. It was just a really, really fun event. Great comedians on the stage as well, and you'll get a full breakdown a little bit later on with Craig, but it was a great night. Yeah, you get a little Evan's debut oh, stand-up, yes. which I can't wait for uh, the audience It's going to make some hear. headlines. Yes, it will. Um, uh, it'll make some headlines. It'll make some headlines and some waves. So <laughs> There's no doubt about that. It will. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so big night for the fan last night, so that was really fun. Huge night, obviously, for the Yankees in a totally different kind of way. So up at Fenway tonight with Garrett Cole on the mound. You know, here's the thing about the Yankees and why tonight, Tonight feels like the season in a lot of ways because you got nine games to go, but you have Garrett Cole setting the tone for your team or what you hope he does to set the tone for your team, right? And I understand the, the Yankees really haven't inspired like a ton of confidence so far this year. Maybe I'm putting that mildly, but let's just think about where they are right now. You got to admit, the wind is at their back right now. And, and this is what I mean. You know, you have obviously Cole on the mound. You've got Judge, Stanton, Gallo, and Gary all hitting right now. You've got your big guys who are hitting right now. The bullpen just got a massive boost with Luis Severino joining that group. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like you've got some depth. You've got Seve. You've got Chad Green. You've got Chapman, who has not given up a run in six games, 11 strikeouts, only one walk over the last six. So that's obviously something that makes you feel more confident. What does that do? It gives Aaron Boone the ability, maybe not tonight because you're hoping that Cole gives you a really good outing, but for the rest of the series, it gives you at least the option, Moose, if your starter gets into trouble to have the quick hook and really treat this like a playoff game. Now, that is going to maybe bring up a little PTSD sometimes with some Yankee fans because of how Aaron Boone has managed the bullpen in some previous playoff games. However, 
that's really the best thing that you want, right? You want him to be able to manage this game as if it is a playoff game, and that's where your starter, that the first sign of trouble, is going to get pulled, and you're going to be able to go to your bullpen, which has been great. I should add in Wandy Peralta has been good. Clay Holmes has been good. There's a lot of places they can go here to try to get through this Red Sox lineup. So, you know, you really look at what's going on. Everything's kind of coming up pinstripes right now at the perfect time. If they are going to win this series, be competitive, and save the season, at least things are all trending in the right direction for the Yankees. They are. Fortunately, you're taking on the second hottest team in Major League Baseball. Well, all the things come to an end. Right. I I get it. And you're taking on a team that you are 6-10 and against this year. Uh, that overcame maybe some of the you know the all star woes when they hit a little bit of a swoon and and are peaking at the right time of the year here in the month of September uh, going into the playoffs sitting that first wild card spot in the American League I, I don't like I, I don't I don't disagree with anything you said right so all the positives that you can have you can throw out there I think you got to see it this is as good so, as it will get for the Yankees no, I, though I right it. now no I, I get it but we're also you, you, when you look at the Yankees we're also looking at coming off a sweep of Texas. Right, they got they gave up 22 runs against Cleveland. They were in death stares against the Baltimore Orioles. Um, all of these things that we witnessed. Now, can that change? Yeah, I mean everything's in front of them. You mentioned it. The, the, there's no questioning the talent on the Yankees. It's not a case of you look at it and say, well, they're just not good enough. No, the the problem with the Yankees all season long, Maggie. What's been infuriating is is looking at the team. And I know there are guys that have been hurt, but. For the most part, you look at this group and say they are good enough. Why are not? Why are they not performing? Why is the offense being as stagnant as as it has at times this year, as inconsistent as it as as it has been? Why is it not the offense that we saw a couple years ago when we played on when the Yankees played 162 game season, you know, and they were one of the better offenses in all of Major League Baseball? Well, why is that? And we've gone whether it be the scouts saying the Yankees like a certain t- type of hitter, they're easy to pitch to, whether it be the lack of a juice baseball, whatever it might, mm-hmm. all of these things we've thrown into the mix here. Well, okay, now, yes, they're playing. Coming off a sweep of Texas, they did what they needed to do. Now they're going to have to take their game to another level because Boston's not the Texas Rangers. Boston is not Cleveland, who they lost two or three from. Boston is not the Baltimore Orioles, who the Yankees didn't fatten up on like every other team in the American League East this year. You know, the Red Sox are a completely different beast. You're going up to Fenway Park. You should be feeling good. You know, you're... You feel good about where this team is confidence-wise. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, for me, Maggie, looking at this group, I say, well, now I got to see it against good teams, something they have not done all season long. They've got nine games to do it, but specifically starting tonight, weather permitting, right. with Cole on the mound, Cole's got to deliver. You know, he, he really does. I mean, I, I look at it, you referenced to whether it be Chapman, whether it be Boone handling the bullpen, whether it be the guys in the lineup, St- you know, Judge, Stanton, you know, Glaber Torres, um, you know, Gary Sanchez. Well, tonight I, I look at the guy that came here, that wanted to be here, that got paid the amount of money, the guy that the Yankees, you know, flew out, met, and brought his favorite wine to because they looked at him <laughs> as being the finishing piece. Well, these are the type of games where Garrett Cole's got to deliver. There's there's no excuses. There's no well, I was an inch off here or an inch off there, and you know, or my approach might have been no, no, no. Tonight's the night where Garrett Cole takes the ball and he's got to deliver a dominant winning performance. As long as the game gets played and mm-hmm. we're not dealing with stop and start nature with the weather, something we talked about yesterday, he's got to deliver tonight. This is, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is really it. The Yankees have got no wiggle room. They've got to win when Cole is on the mound. You can't lose Garrett Cole's starts. You really can't. So tonight, he's got to deliver. Listen, and the guy has pitched in really big games before. So it's not like, you know, he is, this is any kind of new territory. This is somebody who's pitched in the World Series, pitched very well. He's not a stranger to this kind of do or die game and it falling on him. And there's no one else you'd rather have it fall on. I mean, it's it's lined up well the rest of the weekend, too. Because you have Nestor Cortez and you have Jordan Montgomery. And right now, for the Yankees, in terms of starters, those are the the guys that you would want to have lined up. Add on to it the fact, you know, Glaber Torres obviously feeling much more comfortable at second. Now, how he responds in a big-time pressure situation, all of this stuff is all in the mix. Just looking quickly at the weather, though, because we did talk about that yesterday. It looks like it's getting a little bit better. Now, it's still scattered thunderstorms expected starting around 6 o'clock. But it's down now to like 50% as yeah, it's opposed anywhere to 80%. From, yeah, which, it's anywhere from 40 to 58% throughout the night. So, again, this, 
starting this game, which will be the Red Sox, and it's at their favor, and then obviously what the umpires do after it stops. Listen, you know, it's not going to be— I hope that's not a talking point. I hope not, too, because these games are way too important. Right, that's the the thing. And, and, you know, you never put it past, you know, Cora and the Boston Red Sox. I get it. I hope— I don't. I hope they don't play around with that. Like I, I hope it's not like. And I, I heard Scazzeri joking around this morning. Well, I want to see Cole go out there, dominate for four innings, and then the rain come. Then he's no longer in the game, and the Yankees ultimately lose. Right? And joking around about that fact. And something that you hinted upon yesterday. I hope Boston doesn't play games like that. Like I, I hope if they're going to start this game, I hope there's a realistic window. Right. To go play this game. Right. But ultimately, once they start it, it's the umpires who would determine yeah, when it I gets. I get it, but you have to have that, you know, proverbial window to right. go play. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I hope they don't do that either. <laughs> be a little gamesmanship. But on the flip side of that, it might not be in their best interest because Nate, Nate Evaldi, who obviously we're all very familiar with here, who pitched for the Yankees, has really been like quite the Yankee killer so far this year. He's got five starts against them this year. He's got an ERA of two. I mean, they want and they feel like Nathan Evaldi has been really successful against this Yankee lineup. So they're basically going like their best against the Yankees' best tonight in terms of how he has pitched to this Yankees lineup. I mean, he's got tremendous stuff. He's got the velocity, all that. So both teams would probably want who they've got on the mound on the mound is what I'm saying. And... Now, listen, here's the other thing about the Yankees, and this is why I feel like everything's kind of coming up pinstripes for them right now. At least you're not limping in. Like, I get that the Red Sox are on a tear, but it's not like you're limping in. You you don't have, like, besides Judge being, like, quote-unquote, like, banged up, but, you know, Boone told the guys yesterday in the he's afternoon that he's going to play, he's going to be in the outfield. So that means you can have the ability to have your best A lineup, and this is going to be, this is a playoff game. They're all playoff games now, but especially tonight to sort of set the tone of what this team's going to look like in Fenway. You're taking on a team with a long winning streak. By the way, you got helped out by the Minnesota Twins last Amazing. night. Amazing. Who end up beating the Toronto Blue Jays. Thank you, Stephen Matz. You are game up. You knew at some point he was going to give back. Just Thank you. Well, Mets couldn't base. help out the Yankees, at least a former Mets did. <laughs> yes. That's fun to think about. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Mackie, I, like, the Yankee fan is frustrated. Like, we had calls earlier in the week saying, I want to see massive change. You know, I'm I'm done. The season's been exhausting. Rooting Some rooting for this team to fail, not make it to the playoffs. Where are they realistically going to go? And I get that mindset. Today, though, is if you are a, a Yankee fan, you wake up and you hope the game get you got something. It's Boston. You never want to lose to the Red Sox. It is a big-time rivalry. It might not be the same rivalry as it was with Manny Ramirez and David Ortiz and Jeter and all of that. And after the Red Sox came back from that 3 nothing series down in the ALCS and eventually win that series and then eventually win the full class. So it might not be. The, it's still an unbelievable rivalry. The Yankees have got an opportunity. Like, I, I woke up this morning with a little extra pep in my step. Like, I'm excited mm-hmm. for a little Yankee baseball tonight up at Fenway Park taking on the Red Sox. I really am. It, it's, you know, it wasn't little, just the dumplings. No, last it wasn't. Right. <laughs> it's a little fall in the air. You know, I, I'll put all the frustration I felt about this team the entire year away. Put it all away. I'll put even whether or not I think this team can win a World Series this year away, which I don't, but I'll put that away. You know what? Tonight is a night. You're taking on the Sox. You don't want Boston dancing on the Yankees' grave this weekend up in Fenway. And they'd love nothing more. Of course. Cora would love nothing more. The Red Sox fan would love nothing more. The Red Sox would love to beat the Yankees like an absolute drum this weekend up at Fenway Park. I wake up today as a Yankee fan and say, you know what? Let's go get them. You know, let's go. Let's, you know, Cole, put the booze aside. Even though I don't think he's a Cy Young Award winner in the American League. You know what, Garrett? Deliver a win tonight for the Yankees. This is it. Everybody, it's it's your last and greatest performance. Well, he gets the ball tonight Mm -hmm. looking to deliver for this team. And as you mentioned, Maggie, they are getting healthier. Offense has clicked a little bit. Glaber's riding the hitting streak since he's been moved to second base. I know defensively they're not the greatest defensive team, but still – Judge is going to play, even though he's a little nicked up, a little bit banged up. Go get the Boston Red Sox this weekend. Go get them. Because you have an opportunity to flush all 153 games that we've watched with this team behind us, right? We have an opportunity as an organization to flush all that down the drain by based on what you do in the next nine games. And it starts tonight. 877-337-6666. How are you feeling heading into, I mean, this is it. (laughs) 
like not to be dramatic, but this is it. Oh, it's and, go time. And with Cole we'll on the through. mound, you feel like tonight really, really, this is where the Yankees have to show up. 877-337-6666. Are you confident they're going to do that? By the way, Gary Cole, three games against the Red Sox, ERA five. Okay. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest not price. not mention that, Maggie? Please, uh, please. You know, it was on my list can of we, things to mention we, in the open. We, I understand. I get it. I understand. Can we just... Can we let that one maybe for later on? You know what? Bad radio job when, by me. When we come back. <laughs> when we come back at you know later I on. Should have teased it. Right? Can we? Can we do that? I get it. I understand. Coming up after the break. What is Garrett Cole's ERA against and the Red I Sox? Have everyone tell me Cole's a Cy Young Award winner. Nonsense. You got John and Susan going crazy. What's wrong with these people for booing them off the mound the other day? Garrett delivered tonight. 877-337-6666. I should have just let that note go. 